Hello everyone, Kitchen Run for Kitchen Run Games. I'm back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. And once again, I am saying it has been a while. I do have uh, somewhat of a valid excuse this time. Uh, if you were following me on Discord, you saw that uh, my daughter's softball team uh, asked that I help out coaching the team. So I've been coaching for the last couple of months, keeping me busy. The season just wrapped up the other day, and that happened to coincide pretty nicely with new events starting. And as a matter of fact, all the games that I cover or have covered in the past here on the channel. So I am going to be jumping back in and hopefully covering all those games in the, in the coming days. So here in Hustle Castle, we have a new game coming up, like actually active at the moment, Card Monopoly. So we will be going in and covering uh, what this event is, like I usually do, and uh, make a little bit of progress. Um, let's go in and check it out. You guys know what this event is. Same thing we've had before. We're spinning the wheel, we're getting the lottery, we go through the super game, we go through the game board here and get lots of quote unquote free stuff. Uh, in the past, I've always bought this pass. I am, I'm taking a break on buying passes. It gets really expensive, especially covering multiple games and you get multiple events going on a lot. So this specific event, I haven't uh, bought a pass for some time. So you certainly miss out on some things. You miss out on some daily quests. You miss out on... So I'm free reward with dice and premiums and things like that, you know, and if we go down to this level here, uh, we don't get quite as much stuff, but this allows us to use the uh, the gold lucky dice. So I'll be missing out on those chances, but that's right. You still get plenty of opportunities to get, get a lot of stuff just by getting in and doing your dailies and things like that. So I will not be buying the pass. Um, whoa, one other, one other part to that. So, Part of my reasoning for not buying the pass is, you know, a lot of this equipment that we get is, you know, we get some good stuff like cash and some arena tokens and things like that. But um, a lot of the items we get are not necessarily items we're going to use. If there happens to be some meta item that comes in that is needed, uh, they make that very easy. I don't think we have our visitor up here, but once our dragon comes up top here, you get a chance to buy previous uh, event items. You don't get to buy it right away, uh, right when the event ends, but fairly quickly you can go ahead and buy them. So if there's something that becomes meta that everybody's using, you can go ahead and buy it up here. So and the money that you save on buying the pass, you can go ahead and spend on diamonds or whatever and buy the buy the item up top there if, uh, if you are so inclined. <laughs> I just have some weird builds like I do on some of my games where sometimes you don't really need that kind of stuff. So that's another reason uh, I am not buying those passes because a lot of the stuff I get, I don't even use. Um, so I haven't spun anything yet. I have a ton of tokens to, to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and show. I have zero. I haven't done anything. Um, apparently I've earned a golden die from something. But I'm just going to go ahead, well, let's, before we jump in there, let's go ahead and look at the equipment. What do we have here? A lot of stuff. Not sure if it's uh, good or not. We'll poke around. I haven't even looked at it, to be honest with you. Um, my favorite part of this event here is the 1.5 million gold, because we can level up our gems, which is kind of nice. And we get some dust here, which is good. Other random stuff, you know, whatever. Sometimes you get a, a good essence. Um, not very often, but occasionally get some of those. And some decorations if you're into the decorations. So these are obviously the big ones. We want to get these these card chests. So we got the mage, the archer, and the warrior. And within those is where you get some of your premium items. Uh, premium decorations. Bridges are usually a coveted item. Um, we have our plate mail for our warrior. Once in a while when the armor owner is healed, their max health is enhanced by 48%. That part is nice, but only for four seconds. So could be okay. This could be good because I don't have a very good spear. Let's see, critical hits, deal triple damage. That's all normal for a spear. Once in a while, the unit makes three quick attacks in a row. Each attack deals damage equal to 75% of the unit's damage. That to me could be highly useful because my, like I said, my spear is not any good. So uh, I would like to get that one. And that one looks like it's available for all three chests here. So we have our decorations here for our bridge in the um, warrior chest. Here's our background, which is also a premium event which is kind of nice sometimes um that could be that could be kind of cool and what do we have here we got the raining down weather of cards it looks like there we go so more decorations those are the premium decorations that we got premium uh, armor and then that spear so let's see our mage armor is once in a while all of the units abilities restore 10 percent more health for 20 seconds when the unit heals an ally during this time, they restore health equal to 20% of that value. 
Hmm. Okay, I'll have to see that in, in practice. And the Jack of Diamonds gear. Once in a while, the unit surrounds themselves with a fire shield that absorbs. Yeah, not really what I'm looking, looking at for my... Oh, and deals 45,000 physical damage every second. Shield lasts for three seconds. Okay, that's 130,000 damage. That's nice. Um, yeah, we might test that one out if we get it. And then we have all these items up here, which um, just by playing the event and making it on the top, you're going to get all these. So we have some decorations for our hero. I could use some updates there. We could go for that. All right, we have a two pair ring, so we'll definitely be getting this one probably today. Once in a while, it deals damage to the enemy with the greatest physical armor. Okay, wait, wait. equal to 10% of the max health of that target. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right, more hero stuff, more hero stuff. Okay, we got an amulet. Once in a while, the unit restores 80,000 health for two seconds. Additionally, the incoming healing they receive is increased. It seems to be a theme of this event. We're having he lots of extra healing. All right, we got a new artifact, the unique cheater deck artifact. The unit draws a card. Depending on that card, deals 100,000 physical, magical, or pure damage to a random enemy. If the unit draws a joker, all three effects. Ooh, that could be, that could be fun. Depending on the card, the unit deals 100,000 physical, magic, or pure. So you have a chance to run i don't know how often the joker is if it's like a real deck of cards i guess one in 52 which isn't very high you would have uh 300 000 damage that could be nice we don't see any examples of that here in this video but it could be interesting okay let's go ahead and jump in and do some of these spins here we'll have to keep an eye on my cash flow don't want to make sure i don't go over over my balance. There we go. We already got 3 million in cash. Very nice. 85,000 in mithril. My mithril has been overflowing. I spent a little bit of time trying to improve some of the quality of my equipment. Uh, we got 626 right now. And uh, certainly could use more, more improvements, but specifics of, you know, like using this weapon. I don't really want to lose my last slot here for damage. I'll have to keep uh, keep rebuilding it until I get back to damage again. But um, I am working on getting some more Doom Essence so I can do some recrafting there. But uh, we're at 626. Probably going to go over that number. Not too worried about that anymore like I have been in the past. i got two minutes. We'll go ahead and uh, spend 200000 on something here in a little bit. What was our cash? Three million, I think I, 5.8. I spent it right before the video here. A good chunk of it. All right, so two spins. We have six million gold, not too shabby. So that puts us at 8.8. .8. I did do a couple upgrades to my castle since the last video, oh, more gold. We are rolling in the dough here. Let's do one more. I'm going to poke around with a couple of those updates. Ooh, lots of dice. Wow. Four of them. So as you can see, I'm up to level 65 now, and I did that mainly by um, maxing out most things that I could do. The, the main priority was getting my food storage capacity up to 2 million. So that's not up to 2 million. In order to do that, you had to up your wood capacity. So that's now 20 million. Uh, your iron capacity, which for me is now 15 million. And then at the end, I decided just to do this one as well. So I got that up to 1.9. Oh yeah, and the gold had to be increased as well. So that goes up to 25 million now. So we can, we can go a lot longer before we hit that max, since we're only at 10 at the moment. So with all that, it got me up to level 65. So everything for me, I, oopsie. I think everything for me is done now, except for my throne room is still TR7, not TR7, sorry. It's only uh, seven fighters instead of eight. And I'm not going to go up to eight because that means I'll be fighting the hardest people in the game and I don't really want to do that since I am underdeveloped uh, in many aspects of the game. We are getting a lot of mithril. We need to go spend some of that.
one part about this game is there is a lot of uh, repetitiveness. Uh, not super special. You know, we're just spinning. We get the die, and then we're going to go, and we're going to start doing the, the, the die and going up the up the path. So lots of repetition. So maybe we'll take a break here on the spin of the wheel and then go up and uh, see where we can make it on the path. I do have events that started... So, oh, I guess we can take a step back here. Um, obviously, the we had some problems accessing the game for a while. Um, if you were on iOS, you couldn't download the game. The game left the App Store. And the same was true for everything that my games, or at least all these types of games that my games was running. So um, Zero City was unavailable, American Dad. So people were getting a little bit worried about that for a while, although it was still fine on Android. Um, so they did get that squared away, um, got the app back on. Um, Apparently there's some subsidiary problems happening in the background and needed to get a new new business. I don't I didn't really follow too much. I saw a couple of posts that people were posting. So long story short, they got it they got it resolved, got it figured out, and now the app is back. And during that time we didn't have events going for a while and there was certainly some downtime going on. So fortunately that is all back now. Um forgot where I was going when I was doing that. Well, let's just go back here. I was going to do one other thing, but let's just go back here. So we'll go back to the super game, start doing some of our rolls. Let's just see what kind of good stuff. There we go. We got our first item there for our uh, new hero clothes. We do have the quicker steps going on up the path here, which is nice, but this dice roll is still a little bit on the slow side. We can get through it pretty quickly. Uh, I remember the other point I was going to make is, you know, since Zero City and American Dad were down as well, um, and they all came back, they're all running events at the same time, so both Zero City and Hustle Castle started at the same time. Um, I started playing Broyalty as well. I didn't really cover it. I did a couple of videos. They weren't very good. Um, I was running multiple accounts. I had a, a account I was using just to check out the game to see if it was any good, and that was on my phone. And I made a lot of progress with that. I better go check where my cache is real quick. 14.5. We're good for a moment. And then... Um, I used a beginner account to start recording videos. Like I said, I did like I think two maybe. They just they weren't very good. But now my other account is all maxed out, and there's not really any new functionality in the game, so not really much to talk about. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get back to covering that one on the channel or not. Um, could start at the beginning again, but you know it's kind of a long grind just to to get to where I am. So we'll see what happens with that one on the channel. Something might happen, it might not. But. We are doing this event. We got a Zero City event going on, so likely, if things work out, do a video there tomorrow. And an American Dad event just started a couple days later, which was today. So we got that event going on as well. And I did say that I started playing Broyalty, and they got an event going on. So we got four events going on. And uh, so that gets me back to the point where I am busy playing the events and doing the grind, keeping my phone going pretty much all the time on something in the background while I'm doing other stuff. Allows me to uh, make some progress in, in all these crazy games. We are rolling some pretty good numbers. Can't complain about the numbers we got coming in. Do got to watch out for that 4.5 million because I think that's going to push me over my, my number. So it, it might be close, but I'm going to stop before we get there. There's a six. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll stop right there. I'm going to spend that cash real quick. Our 19 million in cash, very nice. So that'll put us here. Gems. I just finished maxing out another orange on my newest fighter that everybody else in the world already has, and I just got my cultist. So I maxed that one out. I don't think I have any more in here. You know, let's just go ahead and make one. So we will max you out, max you, and we can go ahead and merge it as well. 
having all that money allows us to do all of that. Very nice. Make sure we put our scroll in here so we guaranteed success. Good. And no reason not to go ahead and level that up just to the point where we can spend the rest of our gold. Now we got 25 million to work with again. And before we get in there, let's do a couple more spins here. Get a couple more dice. We're gonna have a lot of golden sitting there, not unused. Just a regular shotgun, nothing special. One of these days I'll have to go through and take all my equipment and uh, reduce it down. Pretty much everything I get, I just keep it. So my game file is probably getting ridiculously massive. I suspect if I uh, clean that up, it might make my game run a little smoother. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but in my mind, it makes sense. Uh, I don't know, let's do, let's get down to what, 200 maybe? That was a useless spin. Getting a lot of gold, very nice. All right, where does that put us here? We are 216, let's do one more. Unless we get four dice in here, then we'll do another one. Yeah, we did, we got three million in gold though. All right, back up to 16 million in gold. I feel there will be a red gem coming in our future very soon. What did we say 16 million? We got another 4.5 coming here. Right here, as a matter of fact. Don't really need to look at the uh, hero outfits. We know what that is already. A level five, five star, level 85. Um, this point in the game is kind of useless for everybody who's been playing for a long time. If you're fairly new to the game, I guess something like that would be pretty, pretty nice for you. I have covered in the past how easy it is to make your own five stars. Um, I think most people are, are pretty aware of that at this point, but if not, uh, you can either pop the question in my discord or you can uh, ask it in the comments and I'll get back to you. I do, uh, I did kind of change my setup here. I don't know if that was before my, the last video or not, but I got a link to my socials on the bottom. Rather than having that ticker running across, that was probably a little bit harder to track everything. So now everything's sitting down at the bottom. Um, my Discord is the best place to uh, to reach me there. You can um, at me in a channel or you can uh, specifically, uh, or not specifically, you can just put, a, put out a question out there. And there's a lot of people up there um, running things combo is actually supporting the supporting the server a lot he's always on helping everybody out with questions and things like that so um truly appreciate his help and everybody else that's been helping a lot as much helping as well so i definitely appreciate that because i have stepped back from there uh, quite a bit lately with everything going on and being busy and work schedules and not having as much free time as i used to have and all of that so other people have stepped up so i do appreciate the help there um Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get back to more regular regular videos and then try to do a better job of keeping up with uh, correspondences and re re you know, replying to comments on Discord and to the videos as well. And anybody, let's go look at our cash since I haven't been paying attention. Anybody that is new here, um, I have been running uh, giveaways on my Discord and videos for years now hustle castle has them as well as my other games that i run um unzi has been running those for me for for quite some time i appreciate his help as well uh but it's basically you go to one of the channels on my discord um it's the hc giveaway channel on uh, uh once you get in there and get access to hustle castle channels there's an hc giveaway every week there's a giveaway and 
Um, I believe you get 500 diamonds every week uh, these days. I think that's what we're up to. So 10 different winners get 500 diamonds. You just click on a, click on a little flag on there just to say that you're entering, and then a bot will automatically pick the winners. And you turn in your game ID to Unzi, and then he'll turn it into the game. And within a week or so, you get your uh, you get your free diamonds. So not bad. Um, not bad for very little effort. Uh, I know a lot of people are doing that for quite some time and have been getting uh, getting some free diamonds every now and then, which no, not not too many people are going to complain about that. All right, since I keep distracting myself, let's go in and we are, what are we doing? Upgrading this one. Whoop. 21 million. Ooh, look at that done now i think we need another six million and then we'll be able to merge our red so since this video is going to be long getting through this this first couple of days here of the event i will uh not do much for changing my squad i definitely uh i think things have become a bit dated again so i need to go in and check out what a lot of the oops sorry for that loud noise go back in and check what a lot of the uh whales in the game are doing those that can basically have anything they want and uh, have all the items and see what they're running and see if i can't get some of that equipment and uh change some of my setups one of them i can't do at least the last time i looked was because i've never done the uh the adventures i think it's called uh let me go look we go into here up here in the top left corner up here so the uh expeditions so i've never done an expedition before uh it just doesn't work out very well with my timing and when things are going on and so i don't have any expedition <laughs> uh experience there so i certainly need to do that um so i don't remember what that uh fighter is but pretty much everybody everybody has one except for me and so you know i'm certainly missing that one and need to get that one going but um, I don't see that coming anytime soon, but I'm sure there's plenty of other updates I can make to make myself stronger. Still focusing on trying to level up things that are specific, uh, specific improvements. So, you know, damage for my damage for my archers and spell power for my mages and armor and health for my tanks and things like that. So I'm still focusing on that. I'm not just improving my power, just to improve my power. That's kind of been my MO for a long time and it's been working out pretty good. Um, but with that, you know, with the recent enhancements in the game, my, my powers have, or my overall power has certainly increased. So I keep backing up. I gotta, I don't know why I need to keep my, my squad happy, but doing that. So I think the last video, my, my max might have been like 20.8 million, something like that. So now we're up to 20.5 for historic high there. So um, certainly been improving, but everybody else has as well. So, you know, I'm fighting in the arena with people like 27, 29, 30 million all the time. So um, everybody else is improving or increasing their numbers much quicker than I am. So I uh, certainly got to get stronger. I'm not, you know, not necessarily worried about that specific number, but I know I am not as strong as others that I'm fighting. All right, we might just speed this up because we're almost maxed out. One more and we'll be maxed out. Although I did say I didn't care about that, didn't I? Um, let's just go ahead and do that. Yes, we'll just craft another one of, craft another one of these fiery powders. I might craft one an inventor eventually. A lot of people are running inventors. I've never crafted anything for an inventor. So that's kind of why I've been loading those up. So one of these days I might start doing that. Uh-oh, what happened? I just want to play. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. I guess the app crashed. All right, well, let's load it back up again. Apologize for that. If it's quick enough, I'll just leave this in the video. If not, then I'll hop back in and edit it out. I can spend a moment talking about... Uh, the, uh, the plan anyway moving forward so like I said I, I certainly won't be back to making videos every single night that just doesn't really work out the 
I have a couple hours every night to, to do this kind of stuff or up to a couple hours every night. And that has been less as kids are getting older, they're getting to bed later, more, more help needed on some of the homework. And I just don't have as much time and other responsibilities and stuff like that too. So, um, I will aim for doing it, you know, a couple times a week, at least two, three times a week, covering all the games and such. Um, no guarantees on that, but that, that's certainly the, uh, the direction I am working towards. All right, now we're back in. Let's go ahead and finish uh, all of our spins here, and then we'll go to the super game. Oh, we got a bunch of quests too. And then we'll go open some of those uh, mega chests and see if we have any of the, the premium items yet. All right, we're about two thirds of the way through all of our. Very nice, another three million gold. About two thirds of the way, th all the way through all of our uh, chips. Another three million gold. We definitely have enough now to make our uh, red gem. out again to make sure we're not too uh, too high up on the cash flow. Nine million. Nope, not even close. at about, we'll just say 11 million. We won't max it out before we run out of chips here. Haven't been hitting the gold lately. Got a bunch early on, but it's definitely falling off a little bit. There's another one. I'll just stick with the threes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the single, single spins here. Ooh, look at that. Might be able to use that, who knows. We'll, uh, we still got seven days left, so we'll get another times 10 spin coming at some point in the future. All right, well, while we're here, well, let's look at uh, these freebies. All right, so, so far we've gotten every single free item except for this, which we will get in a couple minutes with a couple spins. Obviously, none of these. We haven't opened any of those chests yet, and we got all of those decorations. So here's all the more or less the free-to-play stuff that you can get, almost guaranteed, as long as you get in there and play a little bit. Uh, all of these are more or less guaranteed. We don't have that yet, but we will very soon. And then the others just come from the chest. So we have almost everything. As you can see, it's right up there. We need a, a three or more to get that last item. Okay, not this one. The next one, I guess. Because after that, we just start circling the top, going round and round, getting some random stuff along with uh, some of the chests. So unfortunately, the rest of this event is now more or less going to be just spinning in circles around this top portion and then getting those big chests. And then within those big chests, you have your chance to get the bigger items. Ooh, there we go. Legendary crit. Nice. So my guess is I will probably not cover another video of just me spinning around circles going around this track. Uh, I'll just do that and then save up all the chests that are remaining and open up those chests at the end. And we'll do, we'll do the chests here in this video, but after that then, you know, in seven days, we'll do the other, give or take seven days anyway, and then these chests here. So we'll go ahead and open those up at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven premium items in those, those chests that we're aiming for. And of course, I'll be uh, coordinating, doing videos for the other games as well. 
the next video it definitely will be Zero City, and then the next video after that will definitely be American Dad covering those events, which American Dad has this exact same event going on at the moment. They were the, this event, the origins of this event started with American Dad. That's where it was first, and there's a couple little teeny tiny differences, but um, it is more or less the same. That one, they've had some of the, uh, some of the meta weapons that came into American Dad came in this style of event the first time it came out. It was a lot harder to uh, progress in that event if you didn't have the uh, the premium pass. But I think they've all kind of changed it now where as long as you're in there just playing and getting those chips in, it's pretty much easy to, to get a lot of the stuff. So All right, we're about done here. We've got 16 more to go. So we've earned 21 golden dice already. In the past, at least in American Dad, I don't remember if that was the case here, but it actually rolled over. If you didn't buy their premium pass, those golden dice would stay with you. And the next time you the event came around, if you bought their premium pass, you'd have everything from the previous one. Which made uh, made it good to, you know, just if you're gonna grind it hard one event, don't buy the don't buy the pass and save those up. And then the next time if you can't grind it quite as much, then you get the golden one. So those are a little bit better. They guarantee you not to roll one. That's about the only difference. So in theory, it's going to get you a, a half, on average, a half a number higher every roll. In you know, in addition to twenty more rolls. But at this point, and this is this is the the part of the reason why I don't buy the pass anymore is because this is all it is. You're just spinning in circles trying to get those chests. You're getting some other gear as well and things that might be useful. You can break them down, maybe use them for something. But I've got so much of this kind of stuff just sitting in my inventory. I don't know that I don't know that I need to spend twenty or ten or twenty dollars to get even more stuff that's just gonna sit in my inventory. All right, we're almost there. Five more to go. Not even gonna look at that. That's just a basic legendary item. At, at this point in the game, if you've been playing for a while, all of the event or arena type items are gonna be better than any basic item you can find anywhere at you know the same level. And pretty much everything I'm looking for now is level 100, or give or take level 100. Sorry for all that beeping. I gotta turn some things off next time. I don't know if you can hear all that beeping in the background. But since we are nearing the end of this effort, let's leave it all alone for now. All right, so we got through all of our chips. We got through all of our super game items. Let's go through our quests here, our objectives. So here, here's the other part of it. So since I'm not buying the pass, I can only get these two for daily items. You know, I have, I'm have missing missing other chips that I could be getting here. So... Because I'm not buying it, I'm not getting those, but I'm okay with that decision. Now we'll go ahead and collect all these free items we get. We get the goblin, we get some premium. As you guys saw, I already have a lot of premium, but playing any of these games now, once you're used to it without premium, is very painful. So I will happily take as much as they want to give me. Okay, let's. Keep these chests coming, and then we'll go ahead and open those chests as well. See what we got, and then we will wrap it up for today with the expectation of coming back again in about a week or so to cover the end of the event. All right, so we got through all that. Let's see how high we've gone. We're all up to 190. And look at these people, well over 1,000. What's even 100th place is probably about 700 now. Oh, they're 500. There you go. You guys must be playing a lot. 190, that's pretty good for me. All right, our cash. Let's go spend our cash real quick. I don't think there's much in those chests, but just in case. We will do a merge. Spend six million.
Got a couple other murders I need to do at some point as well, the way it looks. Okay, we'll add our scroll, 146 of those. Guaranteed 100%, six million. Good. So I wonder if I should, you know what? Let's just do it while we're here. Let's spend, spend that seven million as well. Okay, so that's out of the way as well. Now people won't have as much of my gold to steal. One of the bummers about all these events are if you're not in there popping out like I do all the time and clicking on those smiley faces, your happiness drops. So it's kind of a, a bummer. It's easy enough to get that back, but you know, you're in there actually playing and doing stuff and then you lose, lose that, which is a little frustrating. All right. So 13,000 chests. I actually at some point, it's probably been a couple of months ago now, I actually went and opened up a bunch of stuff. But as you can see, I got <laughs> I got a ton of all kinds of stuff. I just need to spend some time on one of these days. Including a bunch of chests that have a lot of gold in them for me. So, you know, lots of stuff just sitting in here not getting used at this point. But we are in here for these guys right here. One, two, three items we're going for here. The chance of getting them, pretty small. Will I get anything in this video? Probably not, but, you know, you never know. So again, just a basic item here. When taking damage, 20% to increase health. This is certainly one, if you're new to an, an area, this is a very good one. And these gems are actually quite nice as well. So um, I'm to the point now where I don't, won't be using something like that. But if I was new to level 100, that would have been highly, highly useful. All right, I'm just gonna hop around. I'm not gonna do them all at once. Maybe I will, Ooh, look at that. It didn't update that count right away. It did right when I clicked on it, it went down from eight to five, but it didn't have it right away. Figure if we got anything good, it's gonna be one of the first ones here. So since it's not, go for the quick opening after that. So here we go, that seven, there we go. It took a little while to adjust down to the, the five. Clicked on that one right away, it's fine. So we had eight, seven, and six, or eight, seven, and seven. So we'll say eight, seven, and six would be 21. It's either 21 or 22 of these chests. We're down to 13. So we've opened about 10, and we haven't gotten any of them yet. So, um, and that's that's fairly normal, actually. So I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get anything. Ooh, another legendary crit. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, did it again. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, I don't get anything in this video. And that's... You know, if I did, you know, it's all done within a couple of days. That would be kind of silly. So I I am always okay with that. You put in the time, you'll, you'll get the stuff. And if you don't, then, hey, you don't want to be like everybody else anyway. Keep our happiness up there. Let's go ahead and open up our last. But we got 10 left. 11 left. We are not hitting any of the big ones yet. Okay, we're under 10 now. There we go, there's one, there's our first one. Once in a while when the armor owner is healed, their max health is enhanced by 48%. Magic armor, magic armor, magic armor, magic armor, health, and then only 98. So I believe you can actually Actually, I'm not going to say that. I, th I was going to say, well, I'll say it. I think you can actually take this armor, break it down, and then you can get a chance to have it show up again. So if you don't like the stats, but for me personally, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that. I will just, uh, I don't think I'll be using this one anyway, so not a big deal. All right, since we got one, I'm just going to stay here and see if we can't get two in a row. Nope, it's fine. Okay, I think our mithril is probably overflowing, but that's all right. All right, so we're still looking for three here in the card mage chest. One 
more than likely we will get the armors first before that spear. There we go, last five. Ooh, another one. We got two of them in this video. Look at that. This was our archer, was it? Archer, another 98. Three health, two damages. Once in a while, the unit surrounds themselves with fire that absorbs magic damage. 50% magic damage and deals 45,000 physical every second. And once in a while, the unit surrounds themselves with fire shield. So I guess the 45,000 is only while the shield is around them, which makes sense. So, um, I don't know, it might be worth testing at some point. I uh, don't know if I will use that, but hey, not going to complain. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven premium items. We got two of them so far. Let's just go ahead and finish this last one for his, this group. Okay, that one's done. So we're looking for the decoration and the spear here. I think that was a bridge and the spear. Of course, if we pull the spear off, that's going to knock it off on every single one of these chests because you can get that in any chest. And here we're still looking for the armor. We didn't get it yet. That's fine. All right, so we got two items so far. Not too bad. Plenty of time to get the other ones. Pop back over, click on our happiness, pop back over here, real quick check on the status. So this is the progress we have made today, I got all of those free ones, we got one of those in the warrior, missing the mage, one in the archer. And then we got those rooms as well. So a lot of progress for sure. And lots of gold, which I love. Hopefully be getting a lot more of that in the coming days and get a couple more red gems. Kind of like that. We look at that 992 for our mithril. So definitely got to spend. Let's go ahead and spend 200 here real quick again. I need to start crafting something. Do that before the next video maybe. So, okay. I think I will wrap it up there. So good luck to everybody in this event. Hopefully everybody gets everything they're looking for. And until the next time, this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games. And I will talk to you later. See ya.